I know. Let me just cover my face. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while. Uh, sister, to take a break. I had to, <laughs> I had to take a break and just chill because the stress was beginning to get to me. But I'm back now. Yes, you're seeing my face. Thank you so much for coming back to watch another video. If you're a returning subscriber, you are the real MVP notifications gang. Thank you for coming back to watch another video. And if today's your first time seeing this face, you are also the real MVP. But you can join by turning on your post notifications and giving this video a thumbs up and also subscribing to join the community here because we learn a lot. Sis, that is, this is the channel and the community for you to be in. If you want to shop for skincare products, beauty products that are on a budget, you don't want to do a lot of trial and error. You want to just make sure that you are making the right purchasing decision when it comes to self-care, skincare, and beauty. Hello, come here, join us here. Okay, so guys, today we are going to be talking about body scrubs and how to choose the right one for you. How to make sure that you are not spending money on things or body scrubs that are really not going to work for you. I'm always here to help you out. So today we are going to talk about body scrubs, how to choose the right one for you, the affordable options that are out there. And you guys will also help me to rate if you've used some of these products that I'll be reviewing in the past so that we can all make a decision and also what be guided going forward when it comes to what the body scrub that we need to be using on our skin. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, then of course continue. So with that much ado, let's first of all, sis, let's first of all distinguish the difference between a body scrub and a body polish a body scrub and a body polish because they are not the same and i've heard a lot of people just say can't i just use this one can i don't worry i'm getting to it so what's the difference between a body scrub and a body polish and what are the functions of the two of them so the first thing you need to a body scrub is a physical exfoliant that sloughs away dead skin cells from the surface of your skin to reveal fresher smoother softer brighter skin any of those four actually works but um another thing you need to know about body scrub is that they usually contain salt sugar granules any of those three there is something that needs to be abrasive in your body scrub and when i mean abrasive something that just um creates friction on the surface of your skin so usually formulators or cosmetic scientists or formulators usually use a salt sugar or granules granules are like those shavings from maybe nuts eggshells and stuff just so that it can create that abrasiveness and friction on the surface of your skin another thing that you need to know about body scrub is that it is best used from the neck down i wouldn't really encourage you to start using a body scrub on your face because it is very very abrasive and it can lead to micro tears so in case you've not in case you don't know uh that is it don't use a body scrub on your face only use it from neck down another thing you need to know about body scrubs is that it is supposed it is supposed to reveal smooth fresh skin smooth fresh skin so if you're using a body scrub that you don't feel like okay my skin is soft afterwards my skin feels fresher my skin feels smoother it's probably not working for you um so body scrubs are usually for any type any skin type do you understand any skin type can use body scrub but the kind of body scrub now the kind of body scrub now now depends on your skin type and what you're looking for so now let me quickly dial it in when it comes to body polishes body polishes are body scrubs they do everything a scrub is supposed to do but they have striking differential factors that makes it stand out from a body scrub number one some body polishes actually include essential oils that are supposed to also help you feel relaxed unlock your zen just make you feel calm beautiful and really really just well rested when you use the body scrubs or sorry when you use the body polish another thing you need to know when it comes to body um, polish is that they also always contain moisturizing factors or creams or hydrating factors that just allows your skin to keep in the moisture that your skin needs even while you're exfoliating and that is why most people actually when you feel like okay i need to go to the spa i just need them to massage my skin and just make me feel good usually spas always use body polishes because it contains everything that i've just described while also making you feel relaxed so that's the difference between a body polish and a body scrub so from now you can always almost tell that okay this one is the body polish while this one is a body scrub and if you're still confused don't worry this series that i've just started 
I think I want to call it tried and tested. That's the word, tried and tested. I was just talking about products that I've tried and tested that I think you would also like and that will also help you to save money when it comes to skincare, beauty, and did I include lifestyle? Yes, lifestyle. All right, so now the next thing that we need to talk about is um, what are some of the body polishes or body scrubs that I've tried in the past and they do really work. The very first one I want to talk about guys and I'm so excited because this has been a secret weapon even though I think a lot of people use it but most times it is always under it and that is the Vit Gold Tomato and Carrot Scrub right here. I've used this scrub for a long time you guys and I absolutely you know it love it I absolutely love it and this is why number one the tomato and carrot extract in this scrub actually enhances and helps your skin to be brighter if you are a, I know they wrote extra whitening on it sis don't be confused I think the extra whitening on the packaging is just a marketing tactic because I've used it not once or two or even three times I've used it a lot of times and I'm obviously not whiter so it's just it encourages skin brightening and it is obvious because the key ingredients inside it that encourages this is tomato and carrot but it is a salt scrub so this is the second thing that i want to talk about when it comes to choosing a body scrub or a body polish it is a salt scrub so that means that salt usually just dries out the skin and um removes moisture from the skin it would exfoliate your skin by creating that friction and that abrasiveness but it will dry out your skin so this is not a scrub that i recommend for somebody that is um dry skin or dehydrated skin or your skin is always easily dry i would not encourage you to buy this kind of scrub but if you are combination oily or normal like me you can always use this kind of body scrub and it's not limited to any kind of complexion the brightening is not remember you guys i always tell you that when it comes to trying to encourage skin brightening always opt for products that are wash off wash off just means that after a while when you use it on your skin you can just rinse it off with water it's not doing anything permanent or severely damaging or it's not really really that the effect is not so strong or so harsh on the skin it's a gentle skin brightening scrub and that's why i absolutely love it another thing that is worthy to mention is that i've mentioned that if you are dry and sensitive since salt scrubs are generally not something that you should use because you will just always feel uncomfortable starved of moisture and just um i don't know summer when you come out of the shower after using this scrub so continue to watch if you are looking for something that would work for your skin type if this is the category that you fall under another thing that you need to know when it comes to this with gold tomato and carrot scrub is that it does not leave that slimy effect on the skin i've used this scrub i in fact i don't want to mention it i've used this scrub that just made me feel really really slimy after and i just hated it i did not like it at all so this one does not give that slimy stuff on the surface of your skin when you are done with it another thing and i think is the last thing that you need to know is that it has a little bit of fragrance so expect that your shower is going to smell nice when you are done and stuff so i know that they have a lot of ranges i know vit gold does a lot of skincare products but this particular one this one is my favorite i've used their sugar scrub i didn't like it at all it was a total failure for me as far as i'm concerned but this particular one i absolutely love it i can't remember the price now but in case i do remember it will be here on the screen all right so the next scrub that i want to talk about or the next body scrub that i want to talk about is the dr seals dr Till's epsom salt range and i mean epsom epsom salt range that just means that all the scrubs that it produced which one do i think or do i know or which one do i actually really really just vibe with naturally anything with citrus oils or vitamin c would always have a plus sign for me i don't do any in fact see if you put me somewhere and you ask me to shop for skincare products i would prioritize choosing products with vitamin c over and above any other kind of product and that's because it is a natural skin antioxidant now the first thing you need to know about the dr till's epsom salt range is that yes like the name implies it uses epsom salt now the difference between this kind of salt and every other kind of salt is that it is epsom salt and epsom salts are known to detoxify the skin 
detoxify the skin so if you're always prone to allergic reactions or fungal reactions or bacterial reactions on your body then this kind of scrub is something that you should actually consider buying and i've also know i've researched and i've seen a lot of reviews from other skincare people on instagram talking about dr teal's epsom salt range and stuff they've used that then that there are different types but the one with citrus oils like i mentioned earlier with the picture here is my own favorite i really really love it the smell i just love the smell of oranges i i, I just like it the citrus oil is uh, I think it's an essential oil. I'm not sure now I'll confirm. It's an essential oil that has been added to the body scrub to encourage that relaxing and that calming zen moment while you're exfoliating your skin. Of course, this is going to slow away dead skin cells. It will, it will reveal, it will reveal fresher, smoother, softer, brighter skin. So you know when it comes to you using your body scrubs that you want to choose and you want to make sure that you're applying your body scrub on a skin that has been cleansed before now. That means that you can't just use a scrub on a skin that is dry and starved of moisture. No, you, mean, you need to make sure that you've cleansed your skin with either your body wash or your soap or something or your body gel or your body wash gel that you use on your skin first when your skin is now still wet that is when you go in with your scrub and that's because scrub and abrasiveness works better when your skin is damp you can just get it to walk up and just penetrate into your skin when it is still wet and still moisturized with water don't exfoliate skin that is dry don't exfoliate skin that you've not cleansed it will not work and that's why some people say i'm exfoliating but i'm not seeing results sis what if you've been exfoliating your skin without actually cleansing first do you understand it's no, just the guys now the guys the last one that i want to talk about when it comes to body scrub and body polishes is the dove body polish range they have a lot of products and honestly i cannot wait to get my hands on this particular product it's a body polish i know there's the uh, macadamia and rice extract and then i know they have the pomegranate seed and um, share butter this particular two i absolutely just i read the reviews online and on their directory i love what i'm seeing and i want to just hook you guys on it so if you're um out there abroad and stuff i know i used to recommend it to some of my clients abroad and stuff and uh, yeah but so this is the reason why the reason why i always recommend body polishes for my clients is because usually some of these clients come and they have dry dehydrated sensitive skin sensitive skin so body polishes are better they are a better option for you if your skin is dry sensitive and really just start of moisture so you want to make sure that of course you've cleansed your skin first before you're now going with your body polish and if your body polish which is this particular one and uh, the dove uh body polish range either of these two ones that i've seen would work for you and one thing you need to know is that it has a ph balanced cleanser so it's like almost three in one you are getting cleansing benefits this it also has moisturizing factors of up to 25 percent so that means that you're not just exfoliating you're also moisturizing your skin that this combination of factors just keeps your skin hydrated while it unlocks and unravels fresh skin cells removes dead skin cells leaves your skin soft glowy smooth all the good stuff and then it also has a fragrance that just leaves your bathroom scented and just you feel pampered right after doing it and right after exfoliating honestly if i if i had the opportunity to get my hands on a body polish versus a body scrub i would choose a body polish because i just want to always feel pampered in my own opinion yeah i don't know about you so if your skin is dry and sensitive this is a body scrub that i highly encourage you to try do you understand don't use body scrubs if your skin is dry and sensitive opt for body polishes because they will help to lock in moisture it will also not irritate your skin that's another thing it will not irritate your skin while exfoliating because i've heard a lot of comments from you guys saying that i tried this scrub it, it gave it, my skin became red and inflamed no you will not get any of this effect when you use a body polish so this is my take on um body scrubs that i think you should try if you're out there and of course as usual everything is displayed on the screen so that in case you want to buy it in case you want to try it out of course you can then try it out so 
let's now group it according to skin types again just as a form of summary if your skin is dry sensitive body polishes are very good for you you would enjoy it you will get the exfoliating benefits that your skin needs if your skin is normal combination oily you can use body scrub any of these ones that i've mentioned work now either you are choosing a salt scrub or a sugar scrub now depends on you i know that i've tried the beats go tomato scrub my skin is normal when it comes to neck down and i absolutely love it i didn't feel any sort of way do you understand and i've also tried um the um dr till's emsom salt range this particular one in citrus i absolutely loved it it was perfect for me and stuff i didn't have any side effects i didn't feel any irritation just always weigh all the odds and trying to find and navigate yourself with this information that i've given if you enjoyed today's video let me know in the comment section uh which scrub are you using currently and are you team body polish or team body scrub body polish or body scrub let us know each other down in the comment section below and i'll talk to you guys in the very next one bye